Uh, I'm here with um, Dan Gallagher, Dale McDonald, a bunch of guys. And so I'd like to ask you guys, can you tell me about the name of your band and how you came up with it? Fun story. Good story. We uh, didn't actually have a name for a little while. And uh, one of the clubs that we were playing in, they were fielding a lot of calls with people saying, um, are, you know, are the guys playing tonight? You know, those guys. And uh, somehow the name was coined Bunch of Guys. And uh, the waitress that day was also working that night and was coincidentally an artist. She went home and sketched a bunch of grapes with our faces in the grapes and made a small marquee for us called a bunch of guys, which I uh, believe I still have to this day. It's over 20 years old. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. I'd like to see it. Or see it. Yeah, they figured a bunch of guys. They figured a bunch of guys because they never knew. We always have different artists sitting in with us, so um, they never knew which guys were going to be up there. Was kind of how it came about. So, um, and and it stuck. What instrument do you play? I play guitar and I sing. So I play the electric guitar. And I play the acoustic guitar and sing. And so, what brought you to a guitar? Brought me to guitar. Yeah, why, why the guitar? Why not the drums, bass, whatever? Um, I was going to school in Oregon when I was, I was like about 19, 20 years old, and I didn't know anybody, and it rained a lot. And all the girls that I saw were covered up and looked kind of fat, and I stayed in a lot. So I told my dad, bring up his guitar, because I wanted to learn how to play guitar, and I taught myself how to play guitar. And and it worked out really well when the sun came out a few months later and the clothing, the, the heavy coats came off and suddenly the girls were looking really good. And now I can play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and you? I, uh, I saw a close friend of mine, um, Chris Cram, play guitar when I was 11 years old. Oh. And I was thoroughly moved by his ability and at that point from then on, I knew that I wanted to be a cover artist and to do exactly what he what did then and still does now very well today. And how long have you guys been playing together? Next month is 21 years, September 94 we started. We started when we were five. <clears throat> months. Nice. Old. Five months old. Good. And uh, how did you guys meet? We were on uh, the restaurant circuit in Dana Point and worked at competing restaurants and developed a friendship after hours. And Working came, musically uh, at restaurants? Uh, mostly drinking at a place called the Harbor Inn, I think is where we became acquainted. And, uh, Hi Kathy! We'd actually threatened for a couple of years about starting this band before it actually started, but we both were in bands that dissolved and there was mention of, oh, we should do this, and it just never really got much further than uh, you know, a bunch of pipe dreams over drinks at the Harbor Inn. And then how did it gel? Well, the owner of the bar that we were in, a guy named Steve Rosen, owned the Sunset Grill, the old Dana Rip Trader. And uh, again, it was after work, we were drinking cocktails and talking about how we should get together and play some music someday. And he's standing over us, he goes, you know what? I've been listening to you guys say this stuff for like the past six months. I'm sick of it. So here's the deal. First Monday night football game of the season is this Monday. You guys are playing right after. See if you can keep people. And I looked at Dan, he looked at me and went, I think we, okay. uh, I think we at that point picked up a pen and a napkin and jotted down some maybe 30 odd songs that we knew in common. And wow, that, became, songs. that, was like, that wow. became our set list for our first gig. It was the Sunday before, so that basically the day before, I went to yeah. his house in Mission Diego. I had like a Hawaiian shirt on from the chart house. He had his tuck shirt on. And we laid down our song list side by side. And then, Oh, I know that one. I know this one. I know that one. I kind of oh, made Dude, lines. I love that song. Can you teach it to me? It's so easy. It's like three chords. Okay, let's do it. And we got like 30 songs together that afternoon before work, like the two hours before work. And so how'd the gig go? I don't remember. Gig okay. went, uh, <laughs> it's a little fuzzy, but we did decide it to do been. it again. It must have gone great. Well. <laughs> but our first show was For Money. Um, 
single rehearse before um, this whole thing started. And I think that uh, in 20 plus years of playing, I think I can count all the times that we've ever had an actual physical rehearsal, probably on two hands. And everything else is that just much. kind of bad. And so 20 years that much, what, yeah. What's really, what's way better is uh, in that time period, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times that we've had a fight. Yeah, it's, I, it's obvious you guys are really good friends. Um, so 20 years, how's it to keep a band together for 20 years? Professional bands can't do it often. You know, we, uh, when we started off, we had two rules um, that later gelled into three rules. Well, it wasn't really a rule, but um, basically rule one was no matter what, we have fun. Period. Period. I don't care if there's no one, if no one shows up, if no one's paying attention, if it's the wrong crowd, if the wrong song, doesn't matter. As long as we have fun. Yeah, that's when we start just playing to then, each other. Yeah. If no one's much. paying attention. Um, and it's always worked out. Rule two was we always have to invite good looking girls because then boys will show up when they find out there's girls. So, it's always you know. so uh, you know, to any young band starting out, any advice? Yeah, have fun no matter what. Yeah, keep it fun. Keep it fun. Um, you know, this band was really a motivation for us to um, just have a social outing, and it, uh, it's been very cohesive over these years. This band has uh, literally changed the course of my life many times over. I met my wife through this band um, from us playing. Dale met his wife through um, this band and at different shows, and it's been a really good run. You know, just take it too seriously. So many people get in these bands and they automatically have dreams of, you know, hitting it big and being some rock star someday. And we never really had that as a goal. I don't think we, I think we got our big, we got our big break when we started at the villa. <laughs> right? <laughs> The day after Chris Cram, <laughs> you know, but yeah, just don't take it too seriously and have fun. It's amazing when, when you just go to have a good time and always, I mean, the people join in, it becomes infectious. So if you're playing and having fun, everyone else is going to have fun. And before you know it, more people start showing up and then all of a sudden venues want you to play at their, their place, you know, and then all of a sudden you start getting paid a little bit more, and it's pretty cool. We've, it's amazing when we add up all the money we've made over the last 21 almost years, it's quite astounding. I have no idea where it all went, but, but it's quite amazing. We weren't even trying, you know, uh -huh. I mean, in the beginning, we were, the we're pretty, much, at the end of the night. pretty much playing for beer in the beginning, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's quite amazing. So yeah, advice to other bands, don't, you know, if you want to last, just have, don't take it too seriously. Have fun and, and just have a good time and, you know. Rock out, man. Whatever your drummer says, don't listen to him. Just keep rocking, man. Yeah, it's a cut. <laughs>